Since 1954, Sports Illustrated magazine has been the pillar for sports journalism. The best writers, the best photographers. SI was the gold standard in sports coverage. Was being the key word. Earlier this week, the iconic magazine reported that almost all of its staff would be laid off, essentially ending the publication. Now, there have been reports saying Authentic Brands Group, which owns SI, is going to try to keep it alive, but the magazine is clearly on life support can't make any money. The monetary downfall has been steep and quick. In 2017, Time Inc. sold Sports Illustrated to Meredith Publishing for almost $3 billion. Two years later, Meredith then sold SI's intellectual property to authentic brands for $110 million. Now it looks like it all may be over. For any sports fan out there, 35 years and older, Sports Illustrated likely played some kind of role in your fandom, large or small. Before the internet and social media rage, SI was the holy grail fans would wait to be delivered to their mailbox on a weekly basis. It was the way to go behind the scenes with some of the greatest athletes and teams in history. Writing impeccable, photography unmatched. Kids, including myself, loved receiving a new issue in the mail. And oh, those covers were glorious. Former Hawkeye Cal Jones graced the cover in the magazine's first year of publication. Jones was the first African American to win the Outland Award back in 1955. Iowa basketball and football have each made the cover a couple times. I'm sure many Hawkeye fans have these covers framed and hanging on their walls. Caitlin Clark was on the cover last year as Iowa was getting ready to make a deep run in the NCAA tournament. UNI Panther fans will never forget the name Ali Farouk Manesh, and I'm sure many have this cover after Northern Iowa upset Kansas in the NCAA tournament. Tom Brady, the GOAT, has been on the cover 20 times. Tiger Woods, 24 times. LeBron James was on the front of the magazine as a high schooler, one of just 25 covers for the King. But the King of SI covers is Michael Jordan. 50 times MJ graced the Sports Illustrated cover. And no Iowan can forget the only high school football coach to ever be on the cover, Ed Thomas, the former Applington Parkersburg coach who was murdered by a former student. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I subscribe to Sports Illustrated religiously because I didn't. But I love the magazine, not only for its content, but for what it represented in sports. I love just picking it up while in the gas station and skimming through it for a few minutes. But as much as everyone wants to blame authentic brands or Meredith or whoever for SI's demise, we are to blame as well. The digital world has taken over our lives and all those hard copy in your hand magazines just don't mean as much as they used to. That's on us, the consumer. And it's just another example because something is easier to access doesn't always make it better.